Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to add some standard washer fluid to your vehicle. Now I like to get the blue kind. It's just the standard cheapest kind you can get pretty much. Um, there are other kinds out there. There's a green kind that gets bugs off better. There's kinds that doesn't freeze as easily. So if you live in a really cold climate, then you're going to want to get that. There's a lot of options out there. It doesn't really matter which one you put in your vehicle. You can consult with the manual to be sure. But the key is don't mix like a half blue, half green. It'll make like a sticky gel stuff and it doesn't clean your windshield as good as it should. So whatever you do put in, try to stick to that kind. That way it doesn't mix and match and leave any kind of residue on your windshield. Now, to fill this up, you'll have a cap right here that will show a picture of a windshield with some jets on it. And you're just going to pop that open and you're going to fill it up all the way to the top. There's no dipstick, just fill it up till you get to the top. Most of them take a gallon, some of them take a little bit more. I got two gallons just in case, so let's top it off. So there we go, that took right out a gallon. So, good deal. Now I'll have a jug for future reference. Now, I will say, these can be anywhere. Most of the time they're on the passenger side and most of the time they have a blue lid. But they can be black is another common color. And obviously this is a 2017 Buick Enclave and it's on the driver's side but they should all have that windshield with the jet stream spraying on it. Um, I'm going to go over to my truck and I'm going to show you that one and what to look out for. Now as you can see here, the radiator overflow tank and the washer fluid share the same container. It just has a divider in the middle. You do not want to put your washer fluid with your radiator coolant. These are clearly labeled, has a windshield with the jet stream on it. So make sure you pay attention on something like this where it's kind of close together and it's an easy mistake to make. Um, always look for that symbol. If you're not 100% positive, consult your mechanic and have them tell you where to fill it up or have them fill it up for you. So on that second vehicle I showed you was my 92 F-150. It shares that tank. Just be careful. But other than that, it should all have that same logo on there. Just be careful. Pay attention. And I want to thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for the next one.